Hey, what's going on guys? Colin here with Red Beans and Dice, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing of Starfinder, and this is the beginner box. So this is everything that you're going to be needing to start off. It will have some of the rules and some of the heroes and different weapons and monsters that are inside of here. And Starfinder, if some of you are unfamiliar to this, is essentially as, uh, this is how it's been described to me, is futuristic D&D. So you get a, you can get a ship, you can go around and get laser guns and all sorts of weird stuff. I have actually only played Dungeons and Dragons once and I really liked it, but uh, a couple of my friends and I were looking for something that was a little more futuristic and this seemed like something that would be good. And also it seemed like it would be a fun game that you can play remotely. We have some friends that are up far away so we can get on Zoom or meet and play a game with them and get going. So I'll show you what's in the box. Let me flip it over a little bit before, get some side art there. And I've really liked the art on this, and it's gotten a lot of really good reviews, but it's going to be coming with um, a master's guide, all this good stuff down here. There are going to be some punch-out tokens that you get. You get all of your fancy schmancy dice that you're going to be needing, the deep fours, sixes, eights, tens, twenties, whatever there is in there. And there's going to be some roster sheets, which I really love. I, I think there's nothing cooler than making your own hero. That was one of my favorite parts of D&D when I played it. So, got the back here. Looking good. Go ahead and bust it open. See what's inside. Got a little mechanical dragon there on the front. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's see here. We have some pretty standard, pretty standard dice here. Okay, looking good. Kind of a, a little bit of a smaller D20 there. I like them a little bigger, but whatever. Got some, what is this? Munchkin, a little promotional stuff. Okay, apparently they're Starfinder Munchkin, so note to self. Put that over here. Like I said, there's going to be some cardboard standees, so... Uh, here are some of the bases. Looks like we have some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Um, yeah, it looks like looks like just two sizes, and then there is a yellow one, which I don't know why that's yellow, but we'll set that over to the side, out of your guys' way. Okay, we have a Starfinder Society. Okay, they're trying to get us to join their cult, so don't do that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Let's see here. Thousands of players, shared, worldwide, organized... Okay, sure, yeah. Go for it. And then it looks like we have some extra content. I really liked this game, and I'm sure it does it with Dungeons & Dragons too, but it looks like they have set campaigns that are created for you that seem like they'd be a lot of fun, so put that over there. We have a Space Goblin. Look at that little guy. Okay, there he is. Some more... Yes... Some more stuff you read before you actually start breaking into stuff. Looks like some of the content and components that comes along with it. Okay. And then they have some preset characters too. So if you're a, a complete noob like me, they have some pre-made characters, which is really good. And then the uh, player aid cards are really awesome. I love it when any sort of board game or RPG game is going to be including that because, you know, sometimes you forget the rules. It's pretty hard. And then here we go. Those are those cards I was telling you about. So, just kind of letting you know what you can do. Some of your actions. Flip it over, and I believe all of these are the same, so I'll just show you this one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the goblin was right side up, but apparently he's supposed to be upside down. That's my bad. Okay, we have some conditions. None of these look good. Helpless, hampered, frightened, flat-footed, off-kilter. <laughs> yeah, these don't look good. So don't get any conditions. Never good. Yeah. All right. Nice and glossy. Good thickness. Liking them. Okay, and over here we have... This might catch the light a little bit, so I apologize about that. But it's very, very glossy, as you can see. Um, it looks like there uh, there is in the... In the box, there's a book that actually has a tutorial mission, so you can go through and play through that and have a good time. It'll show you what to do and how to do it in different aspects. I think there's like difficult terrain and then line of sight, movement, all that good stuff. So I am not 100% sure. And then the back here is just an open grid, which I really like. You could probably make your own scenario on here. 
but let's see here. Let's see if I can. There we go. Zoom out a little bit there. And like I said, this is very extremely glossy, so I'm sorry about that. And I don't think I'll be able to fit it all on here. But yeah, we got some cool looking terrain, some doors. Fold this up. Maybe you can see the back part. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you lay it flat. Maybe put some books on it overnight before you play on it so you don't have these little <laughs> mountains on there. <laughs> but yeah, looking good. Pretty good quality. Folds up nicely into a little square. Goes back some, back in the box, so that's good. And then over here, let's see. We have some of our preset heroes. Everything's kind of tightly put in there. Okay, let's check them out. We got the Envoy. Hope I'm saying that right. Mystic. Okay. A little backstory. That's cool. The races look really cool in this. Uh, I thought the soldier looked cool. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lizardmen. I, I played at a Lizardmen army in, uh, what was it, Warhammer Fantasy. That was so long ago. Jesus, they have Age of Sigmar now and 40k millionth edition, whatever. But uh, yeah, some of their perks, some of their little things that they can do, a little rat mechanic. I thought it was cool you could have a mechanic on your ship fixing things as you're fighting a star battle. So not exactly sure how the space battles are going to work as opposed to the uh, normal, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, shoot -em up combat, but we'll see. Very new to this, but really excited nonetheless. And this box was, uh, excuse me, this game was a little bit, the beginner's box was only about, what was it, like 35, 40 bucks, and my roommate actually bought this, so I didn't pay for it, and that's the best kind of game. So, um, yeah, and then we have, here is my favorite part, the character sheets. And we'll probably do some of the pre, pre-made pre characters just to go through a couple of the tutorial missions or maybe even the first one, but eventually um, you want to be making your own character. I mean, how fun is that, you know? So, strength, dexterity, constitution, very reminiscent of D&D. So, you know, if you've played that, you, you probably won't have too hard of a time here. And then these are just six starter sheets. Obviously, you'll want to do a colored copy of these and because, um, you know, you'll probably run out if you get a couple people playing with you. But there is that. Not sure if there's anything on the back. Yep. Lots of things on the back. Okay. Spells. Character portrait. Oh, my. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to be doing that because I cannot draw worth crap. So there is that. Got an adventure log. That's cool. A little spot for notes. Uh, reminder of what the dice do. <laughs> sure. All right. There we go. Doing it to it. And then, like I said, these are just six of all the same. So I'll just put those over there to the side. Over here, we got the meat and potatoes. Really awesome artwork. If that doesn't make you want to play this game, I don't know what will. So and I'll give you a little glimpse into this. I have a little map of a starship over here. Not 100% sure what that is. Um, and then I did look on Reddit and a couple of different places, and it shows that you can actually play this, you know, on the map, and there's line of sight. It kind of looks like Imperial Assault to me in terms of being able to see things, and then there's a range. Each one of these squares, I think they said, is five feet, so it helps you calibrate that. But, uh, you know, if we're going to be playing this over meat, which, you know, with the pandemic and everything, it's we're probably going to be doing it just, uh, what is it called, theater style, where you just kind of use your imagination. So <laughs> there's that. And then look at all these monsters. Look at that. Enemies... Neutral good, neutral, look at that kitty. I think that's in one of the first, not to ruin things, but one of the first like intro missions, but all these monsters looking so cool. It has their armor class, equipment, special abilities. That is really awesome. A little futuristic dragon there. And let's see here, got a little map, that's sweet. And I really like the, the gloss on all this, and then the, the artwork is just amazing. So we got lighting, environmental hazards, terrain, and just a couple other different stuff. And then uh, I'm not sure if this is, yeah, this is the Game Master's Guide, so um, 
this will be kind of an intro into the beginning tutorial mission scenario quest whatever you want to call it and there's that and we'll flip it over um, gives you a little bit of um, explanation on the back you got a little <laughs> space rat he's got little laser beams up here awesome 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 get that out of there let's see if I can get this out here without messing it up okay we got the hero's handbook I did glimpse through this and yep there we go weapons on weapons on weapons armor leggings I think I uh, got some spaceships that you can have. That is awesome. So, won't go into this too much. This will be, it'd be a little too long of a video if I broke down everything here, but, yep, there's a magic aspect to it. Um, yep, there you go. So far it's looking really good. Looking like someone with my intelligence can play it, so <laughs> there's that. I'm going to flip these over. These guys are just right in there okay and then it has some standees that you can use for each of the enemies that you will be facing and i believe they have some of the pre-made hero characters on here too but so far really looking good looking good i've got a big model down here and a big model over here and here that's probably where the big standees are for and let's see here these guys look like the heroes over here so yeah, I got the Mystic Operative, the Envoy, and the Soldier Mechanic Techromancer. Not the Necromancer, the Techromancer. So there is that. A lot of cool little standees that you can punch out. And I believe that is it for the unboxing. So this is a board game slash tabletop RPG. Not exactly sure how you would label it, but... Um, if you've actually played Starfinder for some reason and you're watching an unboxing video, let me know some of the fun things that you've done. Um, how does it work if it translates over to just having a theater type aspect where you don't use the board? Um, let me know any sort of opinions or if this game looks cool. I'd love to hear from you guys. That's really what drives the channel is, is the comments from people and building an awesome community here for Red Beans and Dice. So that's the unboxing for Beginner Box uh, Starfinder. Hopefully me and my friends can play this. I probably won't do any recordings of playthroughs that we do just because it would be too long but anyway that's the unboxing you can see what it's inside hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my video and i hope you guys have a safe and hopefully a very warm day because it has been freezing here in kansas it's been horrible all right well i'll talk to you guys later bye